Okay, so let's see. So he fucked up that he didn't actually join. Good. And since we're on the defensive for once, let's uh, see if there is a, like a higher place we can stand on. Like over here, maybe. Stand a little bit closer so they're right on the hill. Uh, that should be right. Yeah, perfect. See if I can knock him out. Oh, the maneuvering. Lemons, three lemons. Oh, shit. Uh oh, this might be bad. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be as lucky as in Pendor where they can't damage me. the pill at me. Well, they can damage me, but they don't do that much. Unfortunately for me, they're very good at blocking. Yeah, really fucking good at it. Is their action of blocking? Can I catch him? Can I catch him? No, probably not. Come on, catch up. At least one of you. One influence from that. <laughs> God damn it, game. Okay, we're over the limit, but we're pretty close to our city. We just need to avoid them. Hello, here a lot. Yeah, armies are off. Okay, they're besieging that back. The other one's just there. Okay, let's see. No, not the garrison. To the dungeon with everyone. Put them all in. I only got 16 influence out of that one. Manage Lotus. Okay, so manage fighters. Okay, so we lost everyone. Um, we're gaining money though. Let's see what this Empire Brass improved the Imperial Southern Helm. No, we're not gonna be taking that. Right. Well, hopefully one of these guys is an actually an engineer. No. No, of course not. God damn it. Maybe I should just you know increase this all the way so we learn engineering real quick. What else? So one we need to increase both of these. Let's increase it that way. Let's increase engineering. And right, we need to sell off all the stuff. Okay. 
make some money that way. Let's see what would they come down here? Maybe I should join that army up there. Just you know, do a siege here and there. started or has it? okay it finished now what the hell are they doing oh nice let's join a big battle see how it looks very big fucking battle unfortunately not it's not gonna be oh i'm actually controlling my troops right because we're not in the army So I am getting frame drops. Let's see if I'm getting frame drops in the actual, you know, recording or frame, but doesn't seem like it. At 63 FPS, let's see when I see both armies, what happens. If I can actually find them. Well, this. Go over there. Okay, 40, 52 FPS. Might actually need to decrease this. Very high. Probably take this on by ourselves, but still, maybe not. It looks like they have some level up troops, I'd say, so they're not, you know, recruits. Come a bit closer. Come on, come on, my horse is faster, should be faster. No, yeah. He's gonna block, turn around, fuck. Yeah, come this way, come this way. Where the fuck are my ushers? Go all the way back there, never mind. They even got reinforcements in the field, right? I definitely should lower the amount of troops, but we already did that. Although it's still smoother than Warband for some reason. Warband is just too hard to run on modern systems. The way they fall off the horses when you hit them is so satisfying. I really should have installed the minimap mod and see where they where the enemy is. Okay, there's no way we're gonna catch him. No fucking way. He screws up, screws up, and turns around. Right? Yeah. Two 
Money Prisoners, Wild Hell North. Thanks for the ice cream, man. Organized games. I'm not sure how that's gonna work because we, <laughs> all our uh, gladiators are dead, but still. We do need to upgrade our troops. Launcher. Owner of that. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna get it either way, so don't have influence to actually do anything. But we got the castle. How come is how, how the hell is that an even split, man? Text for the ice cream too. Another one. How is it an even split when the other two guys had 25 and 25 percent? It's I got a third of the votes, man. Okay, so I guess I am gonna need to like leave our brother there to be the steward. So I'm gonna lose some troop capacity. Uh, okay, hopefully this doesn't crash the game. Improve the garrison, okay. After pressing the improved garrison on the improved garrison menu will open will be opened. This menu is used to access and control your improved garrison. And it consists of several different tabs with features like recruitment, training of your garrison troops. At the top of the improved garrison mod you can find the drop down button at all your current features and castle feature castle. The settlements will be listed here. Use the drop down to select the improved garrison you want to make changes to. So you can control everything from this one area. Good. That's nice. So we only have that one. This tab provides you with an overview of all your current five castles. Each of your five is, will be listed, listed here. The overview will warn you if you have five or one of your villagers is under attack. Okay, that's, you know, normal. I will re react accordingly. For each five, a quick overview of information is given to show you the information like current amount of garrison troops and food stocks. Okay. Recruitment. Okay, so let's see. Recruitment troops, culture. First prisoners recruit from region. This is the recruitment menu. You have the possibility to automatically recruit from the garrison region or establish a recruit party to recruit troops from outside the region. This is really nice so you can actually like go around the map and recruit troops. Okay, so we can create our new recruiter too. Set amount to recruit, max amount of troops to recruit. Okay, okay so can change that. Recruit, recruit prisoners about threshold. Sure, recruit settings to 50%. Only recru recruit elite troops. Only recruit elite. What? Change culture. Empire. Allow to buy horses. Sure. Don't actually recruit from the. Okay, so he, if this is on, he should be only recruiting the Empire prisoners, right? Region castles. Okay, continue. A recruit party is used to recruit new troops for the garrison. The recruiter will look for new troops outside of the garrison of your current five. You may select the culture, the amount of troops you want to recruit to recruit for a garrison. I guess we should set this to like 30 at the beginning since he's not gonna be finding a lot of troops here. Two prisoners, late region, okay, got that. Got that. Training, enable garrison training. 
Now, I'm not sure how this work because, works because the troops in the garrison are usually the militia, or is that separate? The garrison here can tell the improved garrison to train garrison troops, all together template troops. All the necessary troops needed to your current training template. Archer. Empire. Of. Okay, 12 denaries, 8, 5. I don't want the top level, so let's uh, get these. Like a hundred archers, so maybe 150, 120. Okay, done. Mm. So it's going to train up troops to this level, I assume. I think. And for the infantry, Empire. Okay, bring to pays three dollars eight five legionaries. Okay, so those are the elites, so we're not gonna be making those legionary avocado spring pays. Spring base are also the elites, I think. Eagle Legionary is the highest tier of the normal troop. Normal troops. So let's. Uh, I guess let's get them to the. Wait, you count us? To the Legionaries. So let's. Uh, 200 should be enough. Maybe a bit much, you know. Let's let's actually put it to a hundred for now. Okay, so that's the current up. This feature makes it incredibly convenient to train your armies. Just allow the garrison to automatically create recruiter. Okay. Your own, just, just enable this setting and wait until the improved garrison gathers from all the necessary cultures and trains your unit troops to your desire. Uh, sure. Training template can enable ex You are able to exactly specify which troops you want to your with want your improved garrison to train. Let's gather troops to features. Okay. Save the current one. Default. I'm not even sure how that is. Uh, did I spell that right? Right. <laughs> My troops. So both of those are tier three. Yeah. Garrison guards. Right. This group. Uh, this is the guards troop. Here you are, you are able to create a new guard party. See current information about your current guard party, order your guard party, or customize the behavior. Guard party is that. Party is a party that is created out of your currently garrison troops. Said a warning on Facebook that we're using some copyrighted music. Hopefully, that you know, got rid of that. Improved the garrison troops, each improved garrison may have one guard party. Guard parties have advanced custom AI built on top of the basic game AI. The guards' AI thinks about stuff like I should defend XY village, I shouldn't attack XY party if that if it, it's too fast or too strong. 
Ooh, shitload of stuff. This will be given over that the most common usage is the defense of your region. If you tell the guard to patrol, it will walk around the region and clear looters and balance and defend against sieges and raids. You may also tell the guards to escort parties. The guards will follow the party and defend it. This is useful if you need to help if you need help with your next attack or you want one of your caravans to be protected. Okay, yeah, let's see. Actually, I'm not gonna touch that for now. Because we have a lot of you know, we're up against the border of the enemy. The, their city is right there, so we're gonna get destroyed instantly. Okay, so there's important missions like militia amount, food stocks, or or the gold cost ratio of the town castle. Your currencies have selected. Okay, so the loyalty is going down, but it's the same culture, so we should be able to fix that right up. Bottom, you'll find the buttons to transfer troops. This will allow you to create create a transfer party with party which will go to a selected location of yours. You see, use this feature if you want to transfer to troops between garrisons. Oh, so if you have like this and the city right next to it, you can like transfer shit. Copy manager. Quick tip, if you want to use improved garrison menu while going around the map, you can check this button. So let's not do that. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't mess with this stuff, since we can like make it so it they gain experience instantly. Okay, end tutorial. Okay, all of that is set. How the fuck did we close this? I guess we... No. Oh. There. <sighs> How do I... Fuck do I give him the make him a steward again? Okay, manage cat yeah that's the way. that's how we do it. Get him in there. Okay, so we're gonna need him there and increase settlement loyalty for sure. Clear all this out. Need to make actually make this first. Uh, this uh, this make all the stuff first, then we're gonna upgrade the walls and all the other stuff later on. Let's give him five k. Now. Okay, so I don't think like uh, placing uh, uh, people in the dungeon here is gonna help us or give us influence. So let's go over there, dump them in there. Well, that's gonna be a problem. We're right, right next to, I'm not sure if it's the capital, but still. What's up, panicked? I got a bunch of mods here for you to look at. Got the dungeon, don't need prisoners. All of them. Okay, so I just went through the improved garrison mod. I can show you again. Seven people deserted. Why though? Oh, that's right. We don't have, have enough leadership now. 
because look at this this is a pretty good mod you can like uh, set it to create a new recruiter and he goes around and uh, recruits troops for you you can see look, we already have one actually i'm not sure if that's ours yep there is no active recruiter party i don't want to make him yet because uh, Maybe it's gonna do it on its own since we're right next to an enemy city. But you can basically tell him what garrison you want, what garrison troops you want in there. So he gathers them for you, which is pretty cool. You can make templates and all the other stuff. Recruit from region, recruit prisoners. There's a bunch of stuff here. Have this set to 30 because he's, you know, to make, make that bit quick yes they can they can be well who knows if he's faster than the bandits then maybe no i'm not sure i just you know i just opened this i just took the castle so we're gonna see what happens you can also like make a guard party which is pretty cool and you can tell them order them to patrol around the city now i'm not sure what troops they're gonna have the guard party to defend the village automatically create a guard. Maybe might they might be like a caravan guards and such, whatnot like militia recruits and that's all the other stuff. Auto, auto guard creation threshold. So that's 150. Set the size of your garrison that has to be reached before has to be reached for a guard party to automatically be created. Oh well, you know, that's the, that's why we have the mo mods in the workshop, so we can have all. Well, we don't have the workshop yet, but we, so we can have all this stuff. Lava upgrade troops. Turn threshold. Which part size of the guard? So when they lose everything, they're gonna true. No, there's that's percentage. So let's increase that to like thirty. Auto replenish, auto sell prison, out allow to recruit prisoners, allow to buy horses. Yeah, definitely they're gonna need that. Then we can transfer troops too. So let's see. Oh, I guess we can pick up troops from the garrison, right? Okay, do need to leave some troops in here so we don't get more deserters. Leave them too. Shit. Um, let's. I guess let's leave. Now we're gonna keep the cab. Let's leave these guys. Now let's leave the couple more archers, and we need to dump five more. I guess let's dump these. I just let my brother be the steward here, so I lost a bunch of party, capac party capacity. I also have a Lotus mod, which gives us, you know, we're able to like have a gladiator school. Let's go over there and check that. Oh, hopefully this doesn't get besieged instantly, you know, because that's what usually happens, right? Okay, let's see what this guy. Okay, so he went in there. I'm not sure, did he recruit anything? No, those are the ones we left in there. Oh no, he's now returning to the city. Yeah, party size 15. So, oh, there he is. So it actually tells us, garrison recruiter of to Torios castle. Make peace. Uh, I would vote for no, but I want to lose relations. So I guess it, it will give us time to actually check out this mod and how it works. And again, we're probably going to declare war in like, in like next five minutes with the Northern Empire, whatever it's called. Let's see, 
they return and they dropped off yeah we have 48 in the garrison now so they did they did pick up the levies so, so, you know the, ba the basic ones you can recruit So we can create an altogether troop and able garrison training. Where was the allowed set amount of troops? Recruit only elites. Naval garrison training. Where was the option to like automatically create? Maximum amount of troops to recruit. Yeah, let's place that to 50 so we get troops more often. Let's make a new recruiter. Uh, 30. Empire. So what we need to give okay so we need at least one unit to establish this party oh i see i guess let's give him the elites which we're not gonna keep in the settlement once i get more party size No, see, look at that. Now they should go around and recruit stuff. Right, so let's see the Lotus now. They just lose a whole bunch of money, but still. That's another thing. Um, I usually don't keep a garrison anywhere. Main party wages. We're not getting a lot from the castle. We're only getting 200 denarius. Okay, so manage the lotus. Let's see. Do we have any fighters? Who we do? This is amount. I like each each class too. That's nice. We watched games and they're making 257 for us right now. Keep all that stuff. Get him an ambush. Yeah. Oh my god, the faces. The fucking faces of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good. Okay. For a moment there, I, I was thinking they attacked the wrong caravan. <laughs> guys are gonna get wrecked by them. And I'm missing. Bandits are more difficult to like kill than the other ones. Okay, they're retreating already. Good. Easy money. 
Right, maybe I should go to another castle. Yeah, let's go over here and buy another another one of those uh, lo lotuses. Ransom the prisoners. Right, we need to find uh, someone with uh, merchant, right? For the quartermaster. And we do need to find someone with engineering. Okay, we're still kind of using money. Okay, it was tribute from the Western Roman Empire. Okay, tribute from the Asari. That's because we fought wars with them. Alright, in this you get the castle and the villages too, right, right, I forgot about that. For the quartermaster we need the trade, right. Let's show. Oh, so we do, we do, oh, we do get that. So did I get any party capacity? <laughs> you actually do. <laughs> From being your own. Ah, oh, goddammit. Video was removed from Facebook. Because we were playing some copyrighted music. I know what. I should do if we're playing the Roman kind of music, Roman mod. I'm not the box. In a second. I think we should be able to play this without any issues since it's in game music. Music. This is more like it. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure. It shouldn't get copyrighted, right? It shouldn't. Okay, never mind, I would have to like restart the stream, so I'm not gonna do that. So I guess we'll see if it actually copyrights the stuff or not this time. I did see that the... Alright, we have to wait for morning to actually buy the loads. Harris Heller did say that Facebook has some problems with the stream beats. I actually think it's, you know, copyrighted stuff. So we need to level brace it. 
Okay, so we can't own more than one Lotus. Okay. That's you. Well, it's not you, I didn't know that. Let's get a few more troops. Oh, that's right. Now we're going to be gaining a lot of points into everything. That's my normal chain. What? Oh, right. I got the thing. Right, I should ch look, go around the cities and look for an uh, engineer. Bollocks, no. And a trader, too. If only the first two I had didn't die. My lord, your improved garrison recruiter recruited five troops, upgraded three troops to the next tier, and persuaded zero prisoners. Okay, that's good. find to hard to find the actual companions you need because it's not as easy to actually level them up yeah if, if you could if you could level them up easy like in warband then it would be no fucking issue but here it just takes forever oh, not that okay already so Actually, we didn't take any prisoners, right? Yeah, so you can only have one. That one, uh, Lotus. They might change that. But who knows, the mod might have been updated. Since I, you know, installed it like two weeks ago or something. That's the one we have. Okay, no, then we have no one in here. Let's go up there. Let's see, all troops gain two day two plus two daily experience. Garrison wages are less. So definitely the garrison wages. recruiter of the castle returned with 50 recruits that's nice actually makes it easier so you don't have to go around and recruit a lot of people door no okay let's check on them real quick the defenders militia and the garrison yeah we only have 18 militia and a hundred garrison. I don't get the quest marker on him. Okay, so let's look at the garrison. Give them the shitty ones. Pick up the printing pays. And the can't take money, so let's take the archers. A 
Now let's see. Got the shitload of a levy. It's gonna take a while to actually train them up. Okay, so where's the next nearest city? Let's go over. Let's actually go into the Northern Empire territory. Party wages for Torn Castle 20. Ooh, a large sack of dudes. Oh, and we were gonna fight both of them. Nice. Troops upgraded, good. Ransom those. Iron scale shoulders, nope. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Don't buy. Sell. <laughs> remember which one is the like uh, the one you want to get one of these is like the best city you can grab oh that's right it's this one to fight. It's not like there's unique spawns like in Pandora here. No one to recruit? No. God damn it. Right, maybe I should tag that guy. That's our, our one. That guy too. Anyone else? No. kind of sad that there is no actual like good way to make a lot of money here or get an income That's like what, what I said, like if you grab these for ourselves, our, and even our castle is pretty safe from the enemy. Okay, so let's move down there and try it. Okay, so where am I? Okay, let's go there. We're gonna join up with an army or something. Or maybe I'm, or maybe I'm just gonna go kill the lords, which is what I usually do, right? fucking traders. Maybe I should keep the brother in the arm. Ooh. Actually, let's go do this one tournament since it's that weapon might be actually better than the one I got. Let's see. Yeah, swing damage 67. I think that's better than what I got. We 
Yeah. <laughs> he fell back like he shot him with a shotgun we have does decrease damage supposedly not sure how that exactly works oh jesus we're fast man i was thinking to get the one that gives me morale but i'm not in the in the like infantry all the time and i didn't see my troops retreat ever so i think it's worth it Okay, so let's see if it's better than the one I got. Mm, mine is actually better in cut. And again, that is a Sparta, not a Gladius. Handling. It has a whole lot more pierce. It is faster though. But we're gonna need a lot longer weapon on the field. We still have enough food. Okay, no, no, those, those two are good. So I guess let's go over there. And I want to recruit here. I'm gonna assume they're gonna come this way, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way around, hopefully. Join, let's join a couple of battles. See how we do. Oh, never mind. They're gonna have a lot of horse archer, isn't he? Or not, if he's a Roman that defected. Stay close. Nice open field. I wish I could remove these plants altogether. Oh, never mind, he's attacking. Right, he has skirmishers, why wouldn't he? Let me see if I can switch to something more like... battling. Yeah, like this. Yep, he has a lot of horse archers. and cab all together. Now this is the point where I would like to like tell my cab to actually engage their cavalry and archers, horse archers that is. So they then go into the infantry. Oh, 
Okay, it might be better than not to aggro those guys over there. Skirmish cab armies are always going to be a pain in the ass. Or just cavalry all together. Didn't lose anyone yet though. Then again, this is on the, high, on the lowest difficulty again. Actually, I'll do the lowest one, right? Oh, let me just sort this out a little better. Yeah, these are the lowest one. Get rid of them. I guess let's get rid of the some of our infantry just to them. Take all the prisoners. Now let's dump them all in there. Sell them. Mm, yeah, let's dump them so we can get more. No, oh, not this dungeon. Turn it prisoners so we can get more land, maybe a city or something. Okay, he's not good. We already saw that. You don't want to get siege battle. So you can use my peel. Let's see, we got to let's get more fish, some butter, some cheese. 